Hello everyone, this is Uma Shankar Ratnala. In this session, we can develop an integration which can retry the font. So in the real time, we have a requirement whenever API is down or any database services are down due to some reasons. In that case, I want to retry the connection couple of times before terminating the instance. Right? How we are going to uh, implement this logic through the integration. In Oracle integration, there is no feature which can retry in case of if there is any fault where when we invoke any connection. Right? So how we are going to achieve this functionality through the integration we can see now. So I am going to create a app driven orchestration. Okay? Let me click on the integration, click on the integration. Now I am going to create a integration, new integration. Okay, so batch 01 retry logic integration. Okay, you can give any name, click on create. Okay, so in this example, what we can do, we can configure request payload and response payload. Your request payload is contains the column retry. In case of if you send the retry value to y, okay, if the retry value set to y, so the integration will retry before terminating the instance, right? So in case of if your retry flag is a n, we are not doing anything, just we can come out from the loop, right? This is our logic. As a response, we are going to calculate the how many, uh, how many times uh, the integration retried in case of faults. This is our request payload. This is our response payload. So let me configure this request payload. Okay. Let me put it in horizontal mode and save it. Okay. Let me uh, configure the REST connection. That's 01 <coughs> REST connection. Okay. This is my REST connection. So I am going to conditionally retry the integration. So our requirement in case of a retry flag is y, then we can ret retry for the multiple times. So in case of your, in case of retry flag is n, we are not doing anything. So the same uh, request I am going to configure here. So give me some name, retry <coughs> service, okay, you can give any name, click on next, okay. I'm going to give some meaningful name. Retry. <coughs> okay. You can give any name. Retry as a service. I'm going to configure. Uh, I'm going to configure both request and uh, response payload. I'm selecting post web. Enable both options. Click on next. Okay. I'm going to select the uh, schema adjacent sample. Okay. Let me take this uh, payload, just paste here, okay, click on OK and uh, click on uh, Next and my response payload, how many times we have retried the fault connection, right, retried uh, the integration. So let me, so this is the count, we can programmatically calculate, okay. Okay, click on OK. Okay, next and done. Okay, so we have configured the REST connection. Okay, so I'm going to save this integration. Okay, so now I want to at least at least three times API to be re retried in case of any fault occurs. All right, so what I will do, so I'm going to uh, going to create a variable right let me open the integration parameters so once you click on this uh, trigger connection you can see the option integration properties there i'm going to set the i'm going to create a variable so click on plus here i'm going to give p underscore retry count okay so i'm i have to try for this three times okay close Okay, so I have created a parameter 
where it try for the three times okay so this parameter value either we can dynamically uh, either we can uh, assign here otherwise you can create a lookup from the lookup you can uh, call the variable value by using lookup function okay in the production it is not suggested to uh, change that value in the integration okay so for testing purpose for your understanding purpose we have declared a retry count to 3 okay so that means this integration uh, retry the connection for the three times okay click and close so now i'm going to declare a variable so that uh, i can take uh, assign activity okay you can name it as assign variables click here i'm going to create a variable v underscore retry count okay so i'm going to assign this value to okay zero basically we can increase this uh, increase this variable in the while loop till that this count reaches to the uh, the value which we defined at the integration properties all right so it will our requirement is to we have to iterate the three times right we need to call this services uh, web services or api for the three times okay close it now with the help of while loop we can build the scope without scope we cannot build uh, retry logic okay so here we have to check the condition in case of your retry flag set to y and uh, your uh, retry count is less than your maximum uh, count defined at the integration property level then we can retry the integration multiple times in case of your retry flag is n uh, i don't want to do retry to be happen is i just want to check the condition so now we are going to handle that logic okay so let me take while loop here because we have to iterate uh, multiple times okay while loop retry click on create okay so here i'm going to handle two conditions right the first condition is the retry is equal to one n retry is equal to n right let me send n okay in case of retry is n and let me add one more condition plus okay so your retry count so whatever the count we defined uh, earlier step v underscore retry at count right that count we need to programmatically increase it okay so your retry count is zero okay so in case of uh, your retry value set to n and your v, v, your retry count is zero i don't want to do the do this anything but i want to handle the in the while loop for your understanding okay so now let me add one more condition now i want to check for the in case of your retry flag is y okay let me add one more condition so in case your retry count so your v underscore retry count less than or equal to less than uh, your total count defined at integration properties all right p underscore count okay so this value we can dynamically change it also okay this uh, retry count but we defined the integration properties so this is the condition let me go to the let me validate it and uh, go to the expression mode here you can see the two conditions right first one is the retry flag n and retry count is zero and uh, so here instead of and i am going to check r condition both conditions i have to evaluate okay i just add instead of and i just add uh, r condition validate okay it's validated close okay so now to retry the logic within the while loop we need to configure the scope activity right so what i can do click on here take the scope activity bring it inside okay you can give the scope retry okay scope retry click on create let me save this okay 
Now within so scope activity, we have to evaluate two logics. The first logic is in case of your rate red flag is Y, we have to raise the custom fault and also we can programmatically increment the value. All right. In case of your, your rate red flag is N, then we don't want to do anything. Just we have to come out from the loop. All right. In order to achieve this functionality, let me take the switch activity. We can handle both, both conditions. Okay. Okay. So let me name it as this one uh, throw fault. Okay. You can give any, any name. Throw fault. Okay. Here, in case of your retry flag is Y. Okay, valid and close. So in case of your retry, your re retry flag is Y, then we have to raise the custom fault. So we can programmatically uh, perform this. So we have an option called retro new fault. Okay, it's a custom fault. We can define as per our requirement. Okay, so throw new fault. throw error okay you can give any, any meaningful name create okay here you have to uh, provide a couple of uh, details as per requirement for now uh, so i can give some details like you can give uh, some error 001 any details you can provide here okay so for a code i'm going to give error 001 validate and close reason Failed invoking service, invoking service, okay, validate and close and the details also I can give the same name, okay, validate and okay, validate. Okay, so double sting, remove this, validate and close. Okay, you can give the skip condition also in case, in case of uh, any condition met, we have to uh, skip this uh, logic. Okay, I, I don't want to give anything, just validate and close. Okay, now, so how this logic works in case of your retry flag is Y, it will raise the custom logic. It will go to the fault handler in the fault handler. We can increment the value, all right? So what I can do here to increment that value, you can take the assign activity. Okay. Assign exception. Okay. Click on create. Now we are going to increment the value. <coughs> So here we can give retry count, click, click on the expression builder, okay. Now let me add the condition. So retry, let me retry count, I am going to convert into number format, okay, plus one. So every time within the loop, we, we are increment this value, okay, the, the retry count will be Initially, it's assigned to zero, then it will increment by one, one, two. The moment it will come to three, automatically it will uh, come out from the while loop. Okay. Validate and close. Validate, close. See, within the fault handler, we have increment that value. And also you can enable some logger and some notification as per the your uh, requirement. Okay, so I will put some log message here. Okay, any okay log. Create. So log I can enable always. Okay, click on edit button. You can write any function, right? Concate net. I am going to take the concate function. Concate. 
so i can build i can uh, write i can print some variable okay count variable within the logger just i can write the count variable and uh, okay okay uh, v underscore retrieve i'm just printing the count variable how many times uh, the count iterated okay the count increased close okay close okay we are at uh, fault handler just i'm going back to logic okay re whenever uh, you want to reset uh, this flow just reset it okay this is our logic okay so in case your retrieve flag is why it will go to the your fault uh, handler within the fault handler every time it will uh, increment the value one okay we can check this logic up to three times if we in the while loop if you see this right uh, and uh, we are condition this uh, we, we we have uh, provided this condition right so until this condition satisfied the while loop is getting executed okay close this so in case otherwise what we can do in case otherwise i do don't want to do anything right so uh, i have to put some variable assign you can assign update assign update okay so i am going to assign the variable to minus 1 because if you not define the variable it will go to indefinite loop okay so that what i can do i am going to give the variable count to minus 1 okay so in case of your uh, retry flag is n okay it will come to otherwise and uh, this minus 1 minus 1 will exit from the loop otherwise it, it will go to the infinite loop okay okay this is for in case of retry flag y this is for in case of your retry flag n okay here we are raising the exception we are increment the value and here we are just the value will be assigning with the minus 1 to to make sure that whenever that retry flag is n we are just ex exiting from the loop okay this is the flow let me save it so now i am going to uh, enable the tracking field okay let me add one field save save and close so our re re retry integration logic is ready so what i can do let me activate it let me activate the integration if you want to enable the tracing just enable it and including the payload also click on active let me refresh it let me test the integration click on test here okay let me go to the body so you can set the retry is equal to n or you can set the retry is equal to y right so in case of y our expectation needs to retry this integration multiple times click on test okay if you see this so it has tried the three times iteration 1 and uh, iteration 2 and uh, iteration 3 once the condition uh, uh, not satisfied it's come out from the loop all right first it will entered into the while loop right so within the while loop it has seen the fault handler catch all all right so we print the log messages count variable to 1 okay similarly iteration 2 okay it has seen the fault handler okay and uh, it will print the log messages count variable to okay these are the custom messages we printed in the exception okay so you can see the uh, three times this loop was executed okay in similarly in case of if you put the flag as n okay it will not go into iterate okay test it see it is not iterated okay say this is the not iterated the moment is the first iteration it's come out from the loop the condition was not satisfied not satisfied so this is the way how can we build the retry logic in the real time integration so we can apply the same logic Uh, while you are working with the real time integration you while you are calling any aps you can uh, amend the same logic so i hope the uh, this session understood very well and uh, please comment and subscribe thank you everyone